Glad I didn't have any money in my wallet. <sighs> the bond me, that is exactly what today is gonna be all about. Well, maybe not this bond me in particular, but what I wanna do today is show you four bond me which you have probably never seen before, and I know you probably haven't tried. Don't get me wrong, this is a fabulous bond me, and it's one I eat oh so often, the pate, the eggs, the cold cuts, but the bond me's here in Vietnam is deep. There are so many varieties which I didn't even know existed, and that's why I wanna bring you along with me today and shed some light on some bond me's you may need to try next time you're in Vietnam, but, I'm not gonna take on today by myself. We got somebody special coming along with us. Phúc Mạc luôn luôn đã nhảm cổ cố gắng ban nón la này. That's right, we got Phúc Mạc coming with us to show you this really special bond meat today. I know we're about to meet him right now, so we've actually gotta head that way. We're running a little bit late. And for y'all that don't know, it's Max here with My Kind of Beats. Let's get today started. What's up, brother? Whoa, whoa. pants? Nuts? Elbow nuts? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get ours all in. They got a ton of just cold cuts here. You can see they got the actual cinnamon rusted pork. They got beef, they got head cheese. I mean, there's a lot of things sewn on here. Oh, ah, okay. Wait. Right. Oh. Oh. And all right, we got our bomb meats here to go. Now, the guy was super nice. He actually gave them to us for free. He has his own YouTube channel, so I don't know what's on it. But. Ah, let's see. Me coolie, me coolie, me coolie. Woo, heck that off. So he's actually throwing five types of cold cuts in this bomb me, but their most famous are the roasted cinnamon pork one, which is Chakwe. Chakwe, and then he had the chaba. Chaba. Which is gonna be the beef one, but there's a lot of other stuff going on here. Let's get this though. Cheers, brother. Cheers. <laughs> the perfect back end. Love these sausages though, got a nice snap to them, but other than that, they're smooth flavor. Ah. Oh, yeah. The more messy they are, the better they are. Oh, no. I like that hot, crispy butter. Oh, you saved it. Ooh. Look how crispy and crunchy this baguette is, just absolutely disintegrating. It means they have a saying similar to English. They say, we pack. Baguette. It means the three second rule. We have the five second in English. Oh, five seconds. Pick up the food and you can still eat it. Vietnamese, they say, we tak baye. Little Vietnamese for the day. It's past three seconds, I can't. <laughs> this one's gotta be my favorite. So much texture from all the head cheese. You hit a big old black peppercorn in there. You all right? You get a chili? <laughs> oh, we smashed that, y'all. We got a lot more bomb meats to try today, so we're gonna head that way. Nothing like a quick little walk over here to our next spot. Now, we're going for something that has become oh so popular in the last couple years here in Saigon. We're going for a donor kebab. Now, in my opinion, this place right here still has the best in all of Saigon. I've eaten a lot of these, but this place still reigns supreme. Hey, Mike. Got here just in time. They're shaving down a fine layer. They got nice and charred. You can see that fat bubbling. Perfect timing. Try him a high guy, a loài phổ thông. Bro, did you say something funny? Because they laugh at it. 
I just said just the normal one. <laughs> I'll tell y'all what, they are not shy with the meat here. He is stuffing this full. Wow, thanks, babe. Oh, look at that. See how it is. This is so good. Look at that, two types of sauce. You got that slaw in there. You got the pork on this unique, almost little flatbread. It's not like the bomb me bag yet. Something a little different. I love the actual bread they're using on this. It's almost just like the pure outside of a baguette. You don't get the inside at all. You just get all the crunch factor. You get the nice, fatty, grisly, charred pork, and you get that crunch from the slaw and all that sauce. Looks like Not sure what cut they're using on the pork. Tastes a lot like a nice honey glazed ham. I have to agree with you. When it comes to this style of bun mein in Saigon, this is my favorite. Oh. And of course they're stuffing those sandwiches going through a lot of meat today. Got another massive one ready to go. This is just unlike any bomb meat you're gonna get anywhere else. You get that unique bread, so crispy, and then all oh, that mayonnaise. They love that mayonnaise up on here. I mean it's getting saucy down here at the bottom. That sausage just dripped all the way to the bottom. Coming out the back, got people coming up out of everywhere. One of my favorite unconventional bombies for sure. Some of the best things in life are when things come together, so that's exactly what this banh mi represents. We're gonna get the karage banh mi, the karage being the Japanese fried chicken stuffed in the Vietnamese baguette. I think y'all are gonna like this one. I can't wait to show you. Let's get in here. All right. Okay, so we waited too long. We came here a little bit late. They're out of the fried chicken, so what we're gonna do is get the barbecued chicken in the banh mi as well. Sucks, cause ooh, I love that fried chicken banh mi, but gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe I've been screwing up. Look at this barbecue one, still got some breading on there. Saucing it up in a barbecue sauce first. And then I'm gonna guess it's a coupon mayo, I gotta ask her. What is sauce on it? Mayonnaise and teriyaki. Teriyaki. Hi. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. We got a knife, about to cut the sucker in half. Yes. Clean cut. Your half, my half. Yeah, you better take that happy touch, bro. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Go hi, bye, yo. Ah, itadakimasu. Hands down. Best chicken I've ever had on a bun made. It's just pure juiciness, so soft, so tender. You get that little breading on the outside, that barbecue sauce sweetness coming through, and the creaminess from the mayo. I tell you, for me though, like the chicken's fabulous. They sauce it up just right. The only thing, this bun me needs to be a little crispier. A little crispier. Kind of like the cheng tea we had earlier. Oh yeah, dude. If it was a little bit crispier, this may be perfect. At this part, I do wish we had our own. This is really good. I may want nani. Dabao tien to gosu. Tien. Ah, watashi wa max desu. Hi. All right, let's uh and then fuk ma. Ru bui do gat yen. Kare beta no mago wa jōzu desu. Totemo jōzu desu. Now I know how everyone 
feels about me speaking Vietnamese in front of them. Phúc không hiểu gì hết. I don't understand anything at all. Chúng tôi. Em cũng cảm ơn mấy anh đã đi. Arigato gozaimashita. Bye bye. Try to get a handshake. Cảm ơn em. Three lady it is. Here at the last one, going for Bam Mi Tik Nung. I know you probably heard of Boom Tik Nung, but this is going to be it in a Bam Mi form. Wow, thú vị. Thường xuyên là thịt của bánh mì là thịt heo, nhưng mà đây là thịt bò. Chất lượng khao không? I thought it was going to be pork, but they're actually doing beef here. And what's cool is you see she's got her whole sauce and everything in her tent right here. Throwing these up over that high flame. Look at that flame. You can hear the fat is dripping off that into that fire. That'll make your mouth water right there. Cho em hai ô bánh mì, hai chục giây nha. Gọi thêm một ô chưa biết. Giờ nó làm mà... Em chưa có sao muối <cười> Muốn sao muối Không ăn bánh mì, không ăn Anh có ăn ớt không? Em bánh bèo What I love is she's gonna take that baguette, throw it right there up on that heat, warm it up for you. So we got this, 20,000 for 10 pieces. Sit right here, right next to the ladies, not too far away. Oh, look at it. Sauce is running out. Oh, what a beaut. Look at that bread. That was a lot of sauce and a lot of cilantro. We gotta go buy two. Oh yeah, that was it. Y'all, I needed this sandwich in my life today. So spicy, she layered on those chilies. That is delicious, and those little beef patties are flavor packed. I mean, you're getting garlic, you're getting lemongrass, and they are just packed full of smoky, high heat fat that's been charred. Mm. How's that? Man, magical. I was craving this after a few decadent sandwiches with no heat. Need this spice. I tell you what, this one hit it for me, put a ton of spice on it. And these little patties right here, they do not represent their flavor because they are flavor packed. And that will do it. Thank you so much again to Fuk Map. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more collaborations with certain people, let me know in the comments. Maybe you want to see more banh mi's. Maybe you want to see noodles, rice, any types of dishes. You want strange things, let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Felt so good to get out today and video again. Got a ton of ideas. I'm ready to really dive deep into Saigon and surrounding areas and show you Vietnam. Hopefully like you've never seen before. Y'all, it's a Maxima kind of beats. I will catch you at the next one.